Absolutely, Sam. Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, great victory for you with the Black Pieces. This was not an easy game. There was a lot of pressure out of the opening. Your structure wasn't looking right. There's that knight on f5 swarming around your king. Tell us the story of uh, this game uh, from your perspective. Yeah, well, it was sort of funny that I just think I really outplayed my opponents the previous two days and just somehow they defended right when the time came and I didn't manage to get points on the board, but then the one game where I'm supposed to get crushed is where I win. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think Hans prepared better than me. I, I somehow fudged the move order and I, I had prepared something with where he had played h3, but some the, the line that I had chosen to play, h3 is strictly a wasted tempo. I probably should have done a different move order or prepared more carefully. And I think very quickly I was just worse, but mm -hmm. the big move that I think, I mean, when he played knight f5 back to e3, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I mean, I get it, he wants to stop knight c4, bring the other knight to f5, and just dribble the ball into the goal, but it just felt like such a backwards move, and then once I got queen g5, h5, it, once I played queen g5, I thought he absolutely should have played g3, and then it gets quite messy after h5, knight g2. I don't know if you have the board. So there, yes, yes, um, we do have the board. There was this moment, in fact, after the move h5. 93, I was very surprised. Did you spot yeah, so this was, idea of f4? Um, I saw it right after I moved, but it didn't scare me very much. What's the point after knight takes f4? Knight takes f4, h4. And then queen like eight f six or whatever. Am I just busted after g three or something or rook f one? Ah, okay. So, and here am I just lost? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. So f four is a winner. <laughs> f four is winning on the spot, but it's very difficult to play, right? I mean, very difficult to understand yeah, why. Yeah, that's, that's an incredibly <laughs> hard move. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, I had I had seen h four and then f four, but that doesn't work even or come even close. And here, if I take with the queen, he just goes queen h five or something. Queen takes h five. Yes. And is this that? Yeah, okay. Rook it's plus four. Coming, yeah. Plus, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, no, my, my, my queen's trapped. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I guess we both just missed this. After queen g5, I was, instead of, after queen g5 here, I, already I thought I was doing totally fine. I mean, and I you was were. expecting him. After was knight king to df5 necessary? I, I've, I thought after queen g5, was knight df5 the best move? I guess if he's got this. Yes. Uh, this f4 it works because yes. I was expecting I was actually curious about the line here g3 uh, if he plays g3 instead of knight f5 I wanted to go h5 and then knight g2 and this one was uh, very interesting to me because f4 is coming I thought I have to play knight c4 mm -hmm. uh, otherwise I'm dead on the spot and I was trying to figure out what was going on after h4 now and it just seemed very complicated I couldn't quite make it work like queen g4 and it felt wrong somehow queen c1 maybe it's holding together for black but I was worried. But once he let me get my pawn to h4 and the knight to f4, I mean, I know my, my queenside structure is sort of deficient, but I was already thinking I can play for an advantage. And Very I nicely spotted, because that's... indeed, you, you right now have the advantage after this move knight to f4. Yeah, uh, and I don't know if I was the cleanest, but I, I did decline the repetition when I had, you know, three minutes against 20 or something, and yeah, so here. Yeah. For a good um, reason. This is just bad news for White, yeah. And then, yeah, he just can't do a thing about the attack. And then, yeah, now he's dead. Okay. Very yeah, professionally, so May the 40th move, 95, <laughs> Knight F4, calculated everything and then took on Yeah, I, I saw Knight takes F3. I, I saw Knight takes F3 wins the move, on move 39, but I just thought I might as well repeat once. He's not going Rook F2, so why do I care? Um, but yeah, uh, no, it's funny that, I mean, the last two days were just so frustrating and today I just totally outplayed and I should have been crushed and that's the game I won. So, you know, chess works like that sometimes mm -hmm. even at a very high level. Guys, any questions for uh, no, Sam? No, uh, congratulations, uh, Sam, and uh, nicely spotted that whole night F3. Uh, for, for us as well, I just want to emphasize the move F4 is like, it's freakish because everything that you were doing just made natural good sense. Queen g5, h5, h4, knight f4. And the fact that white had this move f4 was a real shock for me. Yeah. I mean, it was like, what? Well, I mean, even, even considering Hans missed that, I think he should have just been much better easily if he hadn't brought like the knight back to e3. Like, I think mm -hmm. I'm just much worse either way there. So. Uh, yeah, I guess he was clearly better and missed a clean win, but I took my chance when it came. Congratulations, Sam. Absolutely. Thank you. As uh, several